This is morning maneuvers. This is something that a cat family or a cat pride does in the morning after breakfast. And this is something that a cat in the house looks out the window and wishes it was doing. It's very primal, something that they do. The lookout. The um, going and looking at this case, probably cicadas or some sort of grasshopper or something. They, as you remember, Coco was very good at tactical maneuvers and she's teaching this little kitten about it, how to run. Um, this kitten's mother taught it how to climb trees. But the gray never participated in these very much because when she was young, she was an outsider and so was her mother. Her mother's passed away for a long time, got old and passed away. But these tactical maneuvers, you can see they're checking out how to do all these things. Now there's a, a person here with a dog that, um, see even Falcor is participating in these. Look, go see if there's anything around. Hide under a tree. How to cross the road without getting hit by a car. And right here is Moon, who is very old. She's one of the Tailless Cat's first litter. Now here you see a people that have a dog, and they do let this dog out, and it killed a kitten. Um, even though they pretend they're walking around on a leash during the day, they let it out at night, and it killed a, a kitten. So you must never let your dogs out to roam free because they're going to kill kittens and cats. You think that they're not, even if you think that they're in the house and they're not doing that, they will. But you see how this whole family is participating in tactical maneuvers. And this is how they train the other cats to run, to fight, to get away from the enemy. How to hide under a car. They teach them all this stuff. And this is when you see your cat looking out the window during the day. This is a mom participating. She's the one that lost her little, the little yellow kitten was it by this dog over here probably. See it sitting in the window wishing it could kill a cat and when they let it loose at night thinking oh well everyone's asleep we'll go ahead and um, we'll go ahead and let it go. Um, you must never do that with your dogs because they can run free in a play yard but they can't run free like this because these cats are not going to kill a dog. They'll kill a rat, a skeet, a snake, things that humans don't want under their houses. Now these cats were taken by a rescue, fixed and clipped, stabbed, grabbed and stabbed. And it has taken a long time for them to get back to healthy interactions. And you can see this is, Bruiser is still kind of angry because he got grabbed and stabbed and so his, his growth was stunted. He's much smaller than like Falcor, who is a giant albino. It's dangerous for them to play in the road like this. But um, they're teaching the other cats how to forage. And people are like, oh, they kill a bird. Only time I've ever seen them kill a bird was a bird that was trying to fly uh, fell out of a tree, broke its neck, and when it broke its neck, um, then they grabbed it, but it was already dead. It had fallen and broken its neck. They really can't, some cats can catch birds, but they really don't have that ability. These two have been friends. Snow and Coco used to play quite a bit, and Coco is an excellent fighter, but Bruiser is pretty darn vicious, and so they play pretty rough. 
but you can see our wrestlers probably got a lot of their moves from cats. So that's too rough to play with a lady. You can see here that it's really weird. Um, come on, honey, I'll give you a little food. This kitten is homeless and is calling out for a little food. I'll get you some food. Don't worry. <laughs> 